We're here with linebackers coach Jeff Choate as part of our 2012 uh, position preview. Coach, your thoughts on the spring? First time to evaluate and see what the Cougars have in the linebackers. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, you know, the, the, the spring was an interesting time for us because as we, as we approached spring ball, our roster at the linebacker position in particular uh, changed in a hurry. And so uh, we had to get a little bit creative and we borrowed from uh, some of the guys that have been playing fullback like Corey LaFossa and Jared Byers and even Eric Ortel, who'd been at tailback. And so we moved some guys around. Um, it, was, it was a you know, pretty steep learning curve for those guys initially, and they did an awesome job of buying into what we were trying to do on the defensive side of the ball. And really, I think, gelled as a unit. I think there was good, uh, good chemistry in our room, and, and uh, it was a fun group of kids to coach. And I do think that we improved each day, which is always your objective throughout the course of the spring. And I think we laid a good foundation for our summer in terms of the fundamentals that we feel like are important at that position. And, uh, and really the leadership that we expect from the linebackers. Individually, let's talk about a couple of returners. Chester Sue was one of them, had a great, great spring, or kind of won you guys over right away, but Chester played the second half of the year and even started the last couple games. Cyrus Cohen, uh, who, who had a couple starts and played a lot, and, yeah. um, got a lot of reps last year. Talk about what you see other returners and what you're looking for uh, this year. Well, I think that, that uh, there is not a lot of game experience. But that's never that's not such a negative thing when you're when you're when you're transitioning systems like we are right now. Everybody's a blank slate, and that gives us an opportunity to go in and really, you know, teach our core fundamentals and and, and techniques to these kids. And and um, you know, Chester's a playmaker. He brings a lot of energy to the field. He's a guy who has uh, you know has a good top end. He has to play more consistent than he did in the spring. That's the thing I'm really looking for from him is is a, a high level of consistency. Um, Cyrus is a young man that has a lot of different skill sets, played defensive back, can match up for us. I think in this conference with all these wide open spread teams, you're going to have to have some linebackers with safety skills, and he gives us some flexibility there. So I'm excited about him. And Eric Ortel, uh, who we mentioned already, came over from tailback, and he had an excellent spring as well. And he and Cyrus are going to have a really good competition, I think, at the Sam linebacker position and, and, and possess some of the same type of skill sets. Talk about a couple newcomers. That, that was one of the focuses of your guys' first recruiting class. Um, but you also get back uh, a guy that redshirted last year in Daryl Monroe. You get him back at one of the linebacker spots who had a great spring. And then uh, you, you bring in Justin Sagoti, Jeremiah Allison, and Keith Ewing, guys that uh, could contribute right away. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting competition at all three of our, our linebacker positions. I already talked about Eric and Cyrus at the Sam linebacker, and Jeremiah Allison's a young man that's in the mix there as well. Uh, really intelligent young man, um, high character. Um, really, I think, uh, is, is exactly the type of young man that we want to recruit to, to this program and bring into the community here at Washington State University, and he'll be someone that uh, has definitely got to keep an eye on down the road. At the Mike linebacker position, you know, Daryl's going to be in a tight competition, I think, with both Darren Markle, who had a very good spring, and with, uh, and with Jared Byers, local kid out of Pullman. And, and Jared's a guy that's kind of a swing guy for us that can probably play both Mike and Will. Highly intelligent, very accountable young man who's lost 15 pounds over the summer. He's looking great. And then you're going to have Keith Ewing. We're going to plug into that as well. And he's a young man from the state of Texas who played at a high level, 5A high school football in Bel Air. And, and he's a kid that we're excited about, real high football IQ. And, and another just tremendous, tremendous person that we're excited about building our future on. And then at the weak side linebacker position where, where, uh, where Chester was, was playing predominantly in, in the spring, um, there's going to be another competition there because Corey LaFossa is not going to go away so, you know, quietly. He's a senior. He's been here in this program for a while. Great summer. Coach Lascalzo was, was raving about the type of work that he put in. And Tana Pritchard is a guy that's gained about 20 pounds over the course of the spring or the summer, rather, and and uh, he almost looks like a different person. You know, he kind of had that basketball play. I always said, you look like a basketball player. And then he walked in my office the other day. I said, well, you almost look like a football player today. So, you know, we're excited about him because of his athleticism and his intelligence. And that's one of the things that's kind of a hallmark of this group is I think they really are a smart group of young men. And that's critically important in our defense because these guys are the focal point. And a lot of defenses, the back end guys are making all the checks and adjustments in our system under Coach Bresky. We're really kind of responsible for a lot of those adjustments at the linebacker position. And so, you know, we can't have any dummies out there. We've got to have some smart kids that are running around. And, and of course, uh, the linebacker position, by definition, needs to be a spot where these guys play with a tremendous amount of passion and energy. And, and those are the things that I'm expecting out of them. So what are your expectations for camp? What do you guys need to do there in these, these first couple of weeks um, besides get game experience? Yeah, well, what we need to do is we need to, we need to focus on ourselves. And we need to, need to not worry about BYU or anybody else that we're playing. We need to take each practice and, and really uh, take a deliberate approach to it and, and improve 
uh, our individual techniques. There's a lot of defense that's going to go in. We kind of front load our install, so these kids are going to be swimming regardless of whether they were here in the spring, uh, trying to just rem remember the verbiage, and maybe there's a new twist here or there. And uh, so we can't focus on anybody but ourselves. These guys need to, to get better individually every single day, and that's what my expectation is. I also have a high expectation of toughness. Um, and, and when I'm talking about toughness, I'm not talking about, you know, you know, fist fight toughness. I'm talking about mental toughness, guys that can push through pain, guys that are going to be able to, to endure a, a grinding camp. Um, when it's rep 65, they're still focused and bringing energy and, and, and providing leadership to our group. And, uh, and, then, and then the other thing is, is I just want these guys to be excited to be Cougs. I want this, this, to mean, this experience to mean something to them. And uh, the bottom line is we got to win ball games. And, and that's going to make their experience that much better. And, uh, you know, we can sit around and we can make a million excuses why we're not doing this, why we're not doing that. And all we need is one reason why we can do it. And I think these young men are, are uh, uh, with the help of Coach Lascalzo and Coach Kramer this summer, I think they've broken some barriers in terms of the mental toughness that we expect from them. And I'm extremely excited to see how these guys produce over the, over the next 22 to 24 practices as we lead up to that first game.